winding down another school year here at Valley City State University as we wrap up both the baseball and softball seasons in this week's edition of Vikings Update. We'll start on the baseball diamond where VCSU competed at the conference tournament in Dickinson. Vikings opened with two victories, defeated Dakota State 8-4 in the opening round. Joe Demers, five RBIs in the game, and Chip Rosales pitched seven innings for the win. In game two, Vikings took down Presentation College by a score of 9-5. Jared Micklejohn highlighted the performance with a grand slam, and David Whitaker was strong on the mound through seven innings. On day three of the tournament, Vikings faced top seed Mayville State in the semifinal. Winner would move on to the championship series. Vikings went down 7-1 to one, but put together a three-run rally in the fifth inning. RBI hits from Jared Micklejohn, Jake Rambo, and Nate Bagby highlighted the three-run inning, but the Vikings could get no closer, and the Comets added a late grand slam for a 13-5 win. Rambo led the Viking offense with three hits in the loss. Micklejohn had a pair of doubles as well. Well, Vikings had to turn around and play later that night in an elimination game against host Dickinson State. After Dickinson scored three runs late to go ahead 6-3, to three, the Vikings fought back in their last chance. A hit by Jake Rambo here loaded the bases with no outs, and then Mike Gershman delivered a two-run single through the right side to make it 6-5 with one out in the inning. The rally could not continue, though, as the Vikings hit into a game-ending double play and left the tying run on third base. Gershman had two hits and two RBIs, and Anthony Nicochia hit a pair of triples in the loss. The Vikings finished the season 32-25 and 25 overall. 32 wins is a new school record, breaks the old mark of 28 set back in 2003. The Vikings also set new school records in hits, runs, RBIs, triples, and strikeouts by pitchers. After the tournament, VCSU's Nate Bagby was named first team all-conference. Bagby was also honored with a gold glove award for his strong defense, and then starting pitchers Chip Rosales and David Whitaker were both named honorable mention all-conference. Moving on to Vikings softball, where VCSU's tournament run took the same path as baseball. Vikings won their first two games of the tournament, opened with a 3-2 victory over Presentation College, getting a walk-off single by Savannah McMillan in the bottom of the seventh. In Game 2 of the tournament, the Vikings took down number 2 seed Dickinson State for the first time this season, winning 5-0 in a game that included more than an hour delay due to issues with the lights at the field. The second day of the tournament did not go the Vikings' way, though. They opened by losing a semifinal contest against University of Jamestown, led 1-0 early, but dropped the game 4-1. And in the second game of the day, Vikings were eliminated by Dickinson State 12-2. The Blue Hawks, after winning that game, eventually went on to win the tournament and uh, earn the conference's spot at the national tournament. Vikings end the season with a 24-22 record and took third in both the regular season and the conference tournament. After the NSAA tournament, three Vikings were named all-conference. Senior Savannah McMillan earned the honor as an outfielder, and junior infielders C.J. Hillhorst and Katie Cameron earned all-conference as at-large players. Also an honor for McKinsey Hamry, who received the NSAA Softball Champions of Character Achievement Award. Viking track and field also in action this week as the NSAA Conference Decathlon was held Sunday and Monday in Dickinson. VCSU's Dylan Thomas placed third out of five competitors and earned all conference honors in decathlon. He won both the 110 hurdles and the high jump during that 10-event decathlon. The rest of the Viking team competed at the Ron Mazan's Classic in Moorhead. A few notable finishes included top eight places for Richard Longdue, Lenzel Coscola, Daniel Machado, and Jenna Coglin. Viking track and field is set to wrap up the season on Friday at the full North Star Athletic Association Conference Championship meet that will be held in Dickinson. On the football field, Vikings wrapped up their spring practice with their annual youth football camp. About 75 local youths participated and had the chance to play with and learn from the VCSU players and coaches. And the future Vikings to announce this week will start on the golf course where Jared Lentz has signed to play men's golf here at VCSU. Lentz is a Valley City native and another local Highliner addition as well as Ben Bosch will attend VCSU and play baseball for the Vikings. Also a new addition on the basketball court, Justin Galloway from Rochester Community and Technical College in Rochester, Minnesota. He has signed to join the Vikings this fall. He led the Yellow Jackets to a third place finish at the national tournament this season. Make sure to come back next week for our final Vikings update of the school year. Mm-hmm.